Australian coins are not just everyday currency. Some of them hold significant historical and monetary value. In this video, we'll take a look at the top three rare Australian 10 cent and 20 cent coins that are highly sought after by collectors. We'll explore their history, key features, and current market value. So if you're a coin collector or just curious, stay tuned. Australia 10 cent 2000. The Australian 10 cent coin was first introduced in 1966 when Australia switched from the pre-decimal system to the decimal system. This coin is part of the circulating coinage and it's still in use today. The design of the 10 cent coin features an iconic Australian motif, the lyrebird on the reverse side. The obverse displays the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, which is a common feature on many Australian coins. The 10 cent coin is made from a copper nickel alloy, giving it a silver appearance. Now, let's focus on the 2000 edition of the 10 cent coin. The coin was minted at the Royal Australian Mint in Canberra, and there were no special variations or commemorative versions issued that year. However, the year 2000 coins are known for their relatively high mintage number, with approximately 120 million coins produced. Despite the large mintage, these coins can still hold interest for collectors, especially when they are found in uncirculated or mint condition. The reverse design of the 2010 cent coin, like other years, showcases the lyrebird a bird native to Australia, known for its ability to mimic natural and artificial sounds. This elegant bird is depicted with its long fan tail feathers spreading outward adding a sense of movement to the coin. On the obverse, you'll see a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. In 2000, the portrait used was designed by sculptor Ian Rank Broadley, a well-known figure in the numismatic world. This design was introduced in 1999 and stayed on Australian coins until 2019. When it comes to the value of the 2010 cent coin, it's important to differentiate between its face value, its worth as a circulating coin, and its value to collectors. For general circulation, the coin is worth its face value of 10 cents, and you'll likely find these coins in everyday transactions across Australia. However, for coin collectors, the value can increase based on the condition of the coin. Circulated coins, if the coin is in a circulated condition, it is typically only worth its face value. Uncirculated or mint condition coins in uncirculated or mint condition can be worth more, sometimes between $2 and $5 odd, depending on their state. Error coins, rare errors such as missed strikes, die cracks, or off-center coins from this year could be worth significantly more to collectors. Some error coins have been sold for $50 odd or more, but these are quite rare. To assess the condition of your 2010 cent coin, here are a few things to look out for. Wear and tear circulated coins will show obvious signs of wear. The details on the Lybird's feathers and Queen Elizabeth's portrait may appear faded or rubbed. Uncirculated coins, these coins retain their original luster with sharp details and no significant marks or scratches. Error coins look for any unusual characteristics such as off-center strikes or die errors, which can make your coin much more valuable to collectors. Australia 10 cent 1966. 1966 was a monumental year for Australia. It marked the switch from the British pound system to decimal currency. February 14, 1966 was the official sea date, the day when Australia moved to dollars and cents, replacing pounds, shillings, and pence. The new decimal currency included several denominations, and one of them was the 10 cent coin. The 10 cent coin replaced the Australian florin, a two shilling coin from the pre-decimal system. The florin had a value equivalent to 20 cents in decimal currency, meaning the 10 cent coin was half the value of the florin. Let's talk about the design. The obverse side of the 1966 Australian 10 cent coin features the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, designed by Arnold Machine. This portrait was used on Australian coins until 1984. On the reverse, we have a beautifully intricate design of a lyrebird, a bird native to Australia known for its elaborate tail feathers and incredible ability to mimic sounds. The lyrebird on the 10 cent coin was designed by Stuart Devlin, a renowned goldsmith and designer for Australian coins. The coin is made of copro nickel, an alloy of 75% copper and 25% nickel, giving it that silvery appearance. It has a diameter of 23.6 mn and weighs 5.65 grams. Now, let's get into the minteds. In 1966, over 30 million 10 cent coins were produced at the Royal Australian Mint in Canberra. While that may sound like a lot, finding a high quality 1966 10 cent coin in excellent condition can still be challenging. Coins that have been in circulation for over 50 years usually show significant wear and tear, making uncirculated or mint condition coins more desirable for collectors. So, what's this coin worth today? Well, it depends on the condition or what we call the grade of the coin. Let's break it down. Circulated condition. Most 1966 10 cent coins in circulated condition are worth face value or around 10 cents. Coins that show significant wear typically don't fetch more than their face value unless they have unique errors. Uncirculated condition. If you're lucky enough to find a 1966 10 cent coin that's in uncirculated condition, meaning it has never been used, you could be looking at values between $3 to $10 USD, depending on the quality of the coin's luster and strike. Rated coins. A. 
For higher end collectors, coins graded by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC can bring even higher values. A 1966 66 10 cent coin in a mint state grade of MS65 or higher can be worth between $30 and $60 USD, or even more if the coin has exceptional qualities. There are also error coins from 1966 that are highly sought after. For example, missed strikes or off-center strikes can greatly increase the value. Some error coins have been known to sell for over $100 USD. If you're interested in collecting or selling a 1966 10 cent coin, here are a few tips. Check for errors. Look for any irregularities like missed strikes, die cracks, or off-center strikes. These can add significant value to the coin. Keep an eye on condition. Coins in better condition will always command higher prices. Look for coins with minimal wear, strong details, and a shiny luster. Consider grading. If you believe your coin is in excellent condition, consider having it professionally graded. Graded coins are often worth more and are easier to sell. Australia 20 cent 1997. The Australian 20 cent coin was first introduced in 1966, coinciding with Australia's transition to the decimal currency system. However, the 1997 edition has its own unique place in numismatic history, and we're about to find out why. Let's begin by examining the design of the 1997 20 cent coin. The front features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth II, as is customary for Australian coins. This portrait was created by British engraver Raphael Macliffe, and it's notable because it was the third portrait of the Queen to be used on Australian coins, appearing from 1985 to 1998. On the reverse side, you'll find the iconic image of the platypus. This design, created by Stuart Devlin, has been a staple of the 20 cent coin since its introduction in 1966. The platypus is an emblematic Australian animal, known for its unique appearance and rarity, much like this coin in certain conditions. Now let's talk numbers. In 1997, the Royal Australian Mint produced approximately 50.1 million 20 cent coins. While this isn't a particularly low mintage, certain factors can still make this coin valuable to collectors. The key to determining the value of your 1997 20 cent coin lies in its condition. Coins in uncirculated or mint state MS condition are typically worth more than those that have been in circulation. An uncirculated 1997 20 cent coin can be worth between $1 to $5 odd, depending on the quality dot. On the other hand, if your 1997 20 cent coin has been heavily circulated, it will likely only be worth its face value of 20 cents. The key indicators of a coin's condition include wear on the queen's portrait, loss of detail in the platypus design, and overall surface scratches or damage. But there's more. Always check the edges of your coin. In some rare cases, you may come across an error coin. These can occur during the minting process, resulting in misstruck or double-struck coins, off-center designs, or planchet errors. Error coins can fetch significant premiums from collectors, sometimes going for hundreds of dollars depending on the rarity of the error. To fully appreciate the 1997 20 cent coin, it's important to understand the broader context of the Royal Australian Mint. Established in 1965 in Canberra, the Mint produces all of Australia's circulating coins and has built a global reputation for quality and innovation in coinage. Although the 1997 20 cent coin wasn't part of any special commemorative release, many collectors still seek out specific years to complete their sets of Australian decimal coins. As time passes, older coins in pristine condition become harder to find, which can increase their value. To summarize, here's a quick guide to the potential value of the 1,997 Australian 20 cent coin. Circulated condition face value 20 cents. Uncirculated condition $1 to $5 odd. Error coins varies but could be worth hundreds of dollars. So is the 1,997 Australian 20 cent coin valuable? While it may not be the rarest coin out there, its value largely depends on its condition and whether you happen to stumble across an error version. If you're a collector or simply have a fascination with Australian currency, it's definitely worth checking your loose change for one in top condition.